this the the issues that you've brought and then we will get to that point whether where we get to uh, deal with the issues around whether elections will be cancelled in those local governments elections will be uh, the renowned elections will be held in some polling units or how many polling units will that uh, elections be held so these are these are issues that i think we need to keep our fingers on this is the pulse of the electoral process make sure that you are there you are engaging you're pushing and, and that's what i love about the sdp candidate i i, I actually thought he would win this election i i was a kogi uh, some four weeks back with uh, a team from the netherlands and and we had uh, discussions around with people and um my 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 takeaway was uh, that he, he appeared to be the most uh, sellable candidate. I, I could could actually win the elections. Um, so to see that he also took the time to follow the process properly and get the evidence that he, he, he needs, I think that this is one place where an election could be overturned. Talking about election being overturned, <laughs> you know that as we speak, Ododo has, APC Ododo has been declared winner of the election. I know. He scored the 446,000 subtraction votes. Um, Ajaka followed with 200 and something thousand. Dino 40 something for about 46,000. Now, they are both calling for Labour Party and the PDP are saying no. We no go agree. This mm. election has to go. Mm. But let's take it from Dino Melaye's point of view and we'll come back on this. So the, the People's Democratic Party governorship candidate in Saturday's election in Kogi State, Dino Melaye, has rejected the election, calling for it cancellation. Well, in the press conference in Lukaja on Sunday, he said there was no election. Accreditation was done manually, beavers was not used, and prepared, prepared result sheets were available before the election. Same thing we talked about in most states. INEC must cancel the election. We have evidence to back it up. INEC has manifested gross incompetence. It cannot be trusted. It is biased and compromised. According to Dino, INEC is the bane of the development of the nation, adding that the time has come for Nigerians to rise and effect a leadership change at the electoral umpire. He said, I call for a total cancellation of the election. I sympathize with Kogi people. I weep for Nigeria and the unborn generation. Well, some correspondent reports from Kogi states said the results strictly from coalitions and at the point of filing in this report said that Ododo was already known. So but by this time, Ododo has been declared winner. Uh, PDP for the 6,000, Ajaka 220 something. Just a similar thing with what played out in Gimo State. And in these two states, well, as we speak, there's protests in Bayasa, by the way. Mm. That one is still ongoing. Mm. I don't know if it's the pro or against the APDP or APD, but let's go concentrate on this quickly. Now, here is the thing. The same kind of result to it that was churned out in by INEC in, in most states is a similar thing we played out. And the same incident is played out side by side. Reports of pre field election results, same thing in Kogi State. How do you think INEC is going to get away from this? Because Dino you know, said this time we have our evidence backed up. And, and this is this is what I've been saying. If and, and any any reasonable person, any reasonable politician, this is what you will have just set out to do, knowing that these guys will do what they want to do. They want to do it. And, and because they have become so emboldened that they are no longer hiding, it's easy now to get those information, those evidences, and put them down and deal with this issue. That's what I'm telling you, that the election that will be overturned in this off-cycle election will be the Kogi election. Because... The, um, why not the emo? They, 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 they are basically I know, but similar. The, but the, the emo, the, the 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 process of gathering that evidence doesn't appear to be as extensive as what they did in Kogi. In Kogi, I think they set out to gather that evidence. I, they, I, I, I don't think Dindo set out to go for election. I think he set out to yeah, gather evidence. gather that evidence to show that look at what is happening with this electoral process. So they, they, they set out to do that. They, they set people there. They, they had cameras. They had people taking notes. They followed this process as closely as they could and gathered this information and put it out in the public domain. So from the word go, when I started hearing INEC saying they will review the issue around fielding voters' uh, election results, I knew there was 
there was problem that somebody had been caught somewhere and somebody is being pushed to the back to the to the wall and they are responding and they're looking for ways to get out of this so you you see these issues pulling units and not the you know initially dino and the jaka mm. said cancel the five local governments no election held in these mm. places however I net cancel just some polling units. But wait, the concern now is if you have been indicted in this by your officials, is that not enough for INEC to actually suspend the whole process? If you go back to Emo State again and ask yourself, why do we have similar scenarios mm -hmm. playing out in Emo mm -hmm. and Kogi? By our sense right now are resisting the process. They are on their we no go agree process. Mm -hmm. 20,000 votes has already been called. In fact, yesterday they said, don't dare bring in the brass in, uh, uh, results, <laughs> whatever, into this coalition center. It was a, them against the police and uh, mm -hmm. security agencies. But particularly, Imo and Kogi seem to have the same... Same, similar si yeah, scenario yeah, playing out. Like the also local government yeah. area, Ike, Duru, um, Oru, East and West, and you know, like everything, like how did... How do, how do you think INEC is going to get away from Professor Mahmoud and his team are going to get away from the, this? The issue is, I, I, I still say the issue is, INEC plays maybe a, a small tiny role in this. All of these issues are around politicians. And it might not be INEC. Because they were caught with pre-field results, um, the shit. The, the, once, once you get that, that particular information as INEC, what you should do is to review all of those result sheets, those uh, officers that have been caught. But the problem is how many officers were caught? Because if it is not something that is widespread, if you cannot show that it is widespread, and you show maybe five, six, seven polling units where that thing happened, and you don't show like a hundred or hundred and fifty polling units in the state mm. where this thing happened, it becomes a problem. So I think that the the issue here is. A few INEC staff may have been compromised, which is true. Uh, how do we ascertain that? There were few, because like I said, the reports were riff in Imo State as well. So how many of those places can we point to that this is, we had in polling units 1 to 50, we mm -hmm. had uh, pre-filled election results with the INEC officials who were there, or the, uh, what's it called now, these guys who are ad hoc staff that uh, are yeah, agents. Yeah, the agents. And most of these agents are actually political party uh, uh, supporters. supporters. Or even members. Or sometimes. members. Mostly they are members. Mm -hmm. So you have all of these agents who go around and they are uh, ad hoc staff of INEC. They are all party, party faithful. So uh, the party nominates uh, they go there, they are the ones who, who know when INEC is hiring and they apply mm. and they are trained and mm. they go there and so once they are given those uh, materials they, they go back and do what so it's a, you, you see that there is that level of perhaps we need to hire permanent staff of INEC who are not ad hoc staff who we can hold responsible because these guys who are there the presiding officer and all those they are, these are ad hoc staff that could have gone to the collation centers collected the result sheets and on their way to the polling unit they sit down somewhere and fill it out first and then they come there hoping to be able to uh, replace the filled in uh, sheet with the uh, for the uh, actual sheet that was filled out uh, for the elections so now, you, we, the, we yeah now you see the concern for several observers um, election observers not as per field observers is mm -hmm. this at the presidential election sometime in february alarm was raised on similar issues mm -hmm. INEC ignored that and declared the winner INEC did is doing the same thing right now there's several um, indicting reports before you as i as INEC official INEC is ignoring that it has ignored that has declared uh, ozodima and has declared ododo as winners you are now leaving the people again with the same scenario. But the, they are saying, the Independent National Electric Commission um, is saying that uh, as later Saturday, November 18, for the conduct of fresh elections and 59 polling units where the exercise was earlier suspended in Kogi State. 
the National Commissioner and the member of INET, Information and Voter Education Committee, Mohamed Kudu Haruna, in a statement issued on Sunday night in Abuja said, for that to the statement they made previously, that they have received an update from the Akogi State Office regarding the suspension of election in some locations in the state where result sheets were completed before the commencement of voting. He said the most critical incident occurred in nine out of ten wards in Ogori Magongo local government area. They received the reports of similar and other incidents in Adavi polling units, Okunchim, Ozuri Onieka ward, Ajokuta five polling units in Ad Adogo ward, Okehi polling units in Eika, Ohizei ward, and Okene and Okene five polling units on Obehira, Uvete ward. Results from the affected polling units have been accounted for in forms EC40G for the for local government. However, in the case of Ogori Magongo LGA, only the results of Oshoban Ward 2, with eight polling units and 2,264 registered voters, has been collated. Election in the other nine wards, Eni, Okibo, Okesi, Leteju, Aye, Rumi, Ugugu, Obinoyi, Obatuben, Uturu, involving 15 IPOLI units and 15. 1,136 registered voters remain suspended. In line with section, section 24, subsection 3 of the Electoral Act in 22 and clause 59 of the INEC regulations and guidelines on the conduct of elections 2022, fresh elections will be held on Saturday, 18th November 2023, in the affected unit. Now, you were talking about widespread. This is cut across in five local governments. INEC only isolated 59 polling units. If there are 59 polling units in five local governments that had pre-filled elections, at what point did INEC investigate to see that the same thing didn't happen in other, in other uh, polling units in that same that's place? That's why you need to bring the evidence to INEC. Yeah, that's, I, why, that's, uh, that, uh, that's why I was saying, in the case of uh, Kogi, mm -hmm. It, it could, you could see a, a, turn, a turnover of the election uh, But results. he has declared a winner. Which is, which is okay. But you still have these 59 polling units who have 15,000 votes. Mm. And if you bring the other areas where you have issues mm. in an election, uh, election tribunal, you could cancel out most of the votes that make up the 400,000 votes. And then by the time the court does the addition and subtraction, you could have a clear, more reflective result of the actual voting that took place. Now here is the concern. In Adamawa State, during the Benani and mm -hmm. the, um, uh, fate, is it? He's, um, the governor yes, now, yes. during their contest, election was yet to be completed in certain quarters. However, Ari Yunusa went and declared Benani the winner, which now became an issue. And INEC themselves came in to say, no, you cannot do that. Let the elections be completed. Mm -hmm. Now, if INEC have about 59 polling units, I'm not saying it's going to add up or make any difference. Mm -hmm. Why then did you go ahead to declare a winner? Because, 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 because the, 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 the present differential between the winner of the election, the announced winner, and, and the and the second place person, the SDP candidate, mm. uh, is far more than the 15,000 uh, votes that are available right we, now. If we want to agree to that, if we want to agree to that, how then do you able, the, the question is, election hadn't been completed. That is our next investigation. You have not looked at the evidence that this political party have. You've not considered it yet. You've just gone ahead to make a declaration. Yeah, but INEC can, if he looks at the evidence that is before him, before it, that is presented to it, uh, especially in situations like this, it could suspend an electoral process in, in certain parts of the state or in, uh, across the state if, if, it, if it so deems. But at the end of the day, what INEC needs to do, it is what, is what it has done. It has suspended elections in areas where it has verified that there were problems where evidence have been brought and it has also from its own investigation verified that there were problems so it has suspended elections in those places other places where these evidences have not been brought that will be dealt with by the election tribunal 
INEC cannot, uh, as it were, overturn an entire election uh, 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 because of uh, 15,000 votes. If you have close to 200,000 votes differential in, in, in an election. So I think that what needs to happen and what will happen, I, I hope that that plays out properly, that uh, both the SDP and the PDP have sufficient uh, uh, evidence to be able to ensure that uh, places where they've not brought to the attention of INEC right now, or they brought to the attention of INEC and INEC decided not to uh, act on them, that they can get, get, get those uh, areas to the, to the tribunal and have them properly adjudicated on and dealt with properly. I, I, I hope that the courts will utilize this particular election in Kogi State to increase their likability with Nigerians. <laughs> we can only hope. A quick wrap up on the show today, everyone. The High Court of the Federal Capital Territory sitting at Buari okays a content proceeding that was initiated against the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Yakub Mahmoud, over his alleged disobedience to a subsistence court judgment. As uh, the Abga issue. Mm -hmm. Well, Justice Mohammed Madugu, who gave INEC boss 14 days to comply with the judgment that recognized Chief Edozi and Jok as the authentic national chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abga, or Risk Jail. So, because of time, we're just going to stop mm -hmm. at the, um, the narration at that point. Looking at this, scene, this case has been going on for quite some time. All the INEC um, chairman or body as an umpire needed to do was this is what the court has said and they followed. Again, this is an, a government institution paid or funded by taxpayers' money, clearly disobeying a court's order. The judiciary have been painted, a picture of the judiciary have been painted to, like, painted to be a, a toothless bulldog. They can give all the orders. We can decide what we obey and what, what we don't obey. If we look at this and how the election, what happened now with the elections and the judges, seeing as they have taken bribe and uh, Haruba will, Haru will say cash and carry judgment, is there a way to begin to get the Nigerian institutions or, 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 or it, um, those taking the little blind to obey court orders, considering it impacts the judiciary? I, I think that uh, the judiciary did not cover itself in, in glory in this matter. Uh, it's not INEX fault. Uh, the court in Bari gave a judgment on the 10th. Another court in Enugu, of course, the jurisdiction. Give another judgment on the twelfth. So Abga, the this faction takes the judgment to INEC. Two days or one week later, another faction takes the uh, Anambra Anambra High Court case to INEC. INEC abides with the most current case that he, that most current judgment that has been given to it has been served on it. It has no role to play in this. So it's uh, our, our courts and our politicians. The court in Anambra ought not to have given a judgment, a ruling on this issue, knowing that another court of college jurisdiction has already given a ruling on this matter in Buari in Abuja. It, I, I don't understand. We just try to, you know, these are the kind of things that, that's why people are losing faith in our judiciary. You, a judge could, cannot, should not get into a process that smears the, the, the integrity of, of the court and the court system by doing things like this. You cannot allow yourself to be moved in such a way that you, you try to, uh, you know, destroy the integrity of the judiciary. And that's what, that's what has happened with this case. So let's let's not let's reduce the blame of INEC on this particular <laughs> issue. They should allow Mabu Jakubu. Uh, but I think the issue here is our courts did not cover themselves in glory on this particular issue. Uh, I hope that uh, parties will go and appeal and uh, deal with this issue properly. Uh, but the judge should uh, tamper. Uh, justice with mercy concerning Yaku. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Barista Mike Karipo. It's always refreshing to host you on thank Atlantic you. Television thank Network. So, thank you for being here this morning.
And now that's been our show, everyone. If you miss any part of the conversation, as always, we got you covered. Just join us live on Atlantic Television Network TV, or you can also join Watch Us Live by downloading our app from the App Store ATN Live. Better still, you have our social media plus of YouTube and Facebook, Atlantic Television Network, where you can watch us live and catch up on the uh, stream shows. Now.